Um, but yeah, I guess we've got we've got a, a good amount of people here. Five minutes in, I'm sure. I'm sure more people will come um, as we kind of get started. And by all means, too, if anyone has questions, like I like to run these, you know, fairly informal. So feel free to kind of throw things at me. More than happy to field questions. Um, you know, however you guys want to go about it. You guys can ping me. You guys can DM me. Uh, whatever is your general preference. You can say it via voice. I'll try to repeat the questions too, just because I know not everyone in Dow VC is in portals and not everyone in portals is in Dow VC. But having said all that, missions are live. Uh, I guess I can at least throw out the, uh, the missions for today for those of you that are interested. So uh, we had the raid which filled up, which was Cope Foxes, uh, most likely based off of how quickly that filled up. We'll get a second one going. Not 100% sure on when that will be, but just throwing that out there for uh, general awareness. Missions this week, one cap slash hat fox, level 26 plus. One pirate, level 28 plus fox. Uh, one captain and captain den, and the captain has to be level 28 plus. Astronaut, level 30 plus and facet den. Um, a two school shirts, level 24 plus, and then two halo and one Angel Den, and the Halo Foxes have to be level 30 plus. Um, and, and the one thing just to kind of throw out there, because uh, I don't know, some people might might have commented on it that I might not have seen, but, um, but I was kind of talking to some other people about it. The idea for some of the more difficult requirements for missions, so like as an example, the last week we had two Viking and Viking Den, this week we have two Halo and Angel Den. Um... The dens, for the most part, I think are the easier piece to it. I think it more so comes down to having two of those foxes, uh, which is kind of part of the reason that we created like Foxy Lens. So it's just a little bit of a way to kind of help gamify, you know, I'd say like rarer foxes uh, that exist in our system. So I just wanted to throw that out there for people that might feel like kind of left out because they have one a Halo Fox and an Angel Den or one Viking Fox and a Viking Den. Um, you're more than welcome to, to, to lend out your fox. I'm sure there's someone out there that will borrow it, uh, or vice versa. You're more than happy to, to also borrow uh, a fox for Foxy. Um, whatever way you kind of would like to go about it, it's just one of the reasons that we've kind of created, I would say, a little bit more difficult requirements, if you will, for a mission. I think the rest of them are, are fairly straightforward. Um, and I was having a cope, cope raid this week, which makes it, uh, makes it pretty sweet. So... Just want to throw that out there for people that um, might be kind of curious, uh, curious about it. Um, let me switch this up to perfect. All right, uh, jumping in. So let's see, hypometer uh, season three. I, I love seeing. Um, all the tweets that people send out, and it was funny, uh, my, my wife was asking me, she's like, man, a lot of people are tweeting out about, like, their famous moments, in, or their favorite moments in Foxes, and I was like, yeah, we created a hypometer task for it, but um, I love seeing it, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where we already have so much of a connection, you know, between community and, and us as founders, and all that kind of fun stuff, but it just takes it to a little bit of a different level when people post about um, you know, different ways that they're kind of impacted with us as a community or what we're doing with foxes or just opportunities alone that exist that are, you know, is quite humbling for us. But, uh, you know, we're really just an NFT product at the end of the day. I mean, this, this, you know, was just an idea that we had, which I know every NFT product that exists is, is starts off that way for the most part, unless you're a company that's existed for a long time and trying to get into it. But, um, but, you know, we really just found each other in, in one way or another. Uh, you know, it's just really kind of awesome to see the different opportunities that it, it has given people and the help that it's done. Uh, you know, I, I get DMs every once in a while of someone saying like, oh, you know, because of Fox, I was able to, you know, eliminate my credit card debt or, you know, just, just things like that that really mean a lot, uh, you know, to us. It's not necessarily a reason that we keep moving. I mean, there's a lot of reasons that we keep moving, but it definitely adds more fuel to the fire for what we're creating. So uh, I certainly love to see those, and it's been great to kind of see everyone post about those. So I just wanted to shout out um, for everyone that has been posting about it. And um, 
you know, there will be five lucky winners that also get uh, ten fame tokens. So, uh, you know, quite quite a decent prize for those that uh, that do it. You know, if you're lucky enough to win, um, to win one of those sets of fame tokens, which is pretty dope. Uh, I did want to throw out there, so I know we mentioned it uh, via tweet and and via like DMs and texts and stuff, but people were asking about the Hydra partnership. So one of the things that we've started doing, which I know we've talked about in spaces beforehand, but we've started uh, offering projects that are doing you know whitelist mints with tokens, uh, a portion back of the fees that we take in for anyone that does end up transacting them in secondary markets. Uh, it, it's not for us to promote, you know, additional trading and such the secondary markets or anything along those lines. It primarily is just a way for us to try to help support some of these projects that do end up going that route um, that are interested in doing it. And and Hydra and us, uh, we've had a decent relationship, you know, since they began. Um, you know, we've talked a little bit more with them. They're, they're a launch pad uh, for projects. And so we kind of just struck up a deal where, you know, if a project wants to do a token-based mint, you know, that we would kind of give back a portion of our fees, you know, back to that project. And uh, they were they were totally down for it. So, you know, they, they wanted to make it like an official partnership, uh, which we weren't against either. So that's exactly what we did. Um, so for anyone that was kind of like speculating on if we're making a launch pad or anything along those lines, we, we don't have the intention to make a launch pad um, or anything like that, you know, it's, it's purely us to be able to support other projects, you know, via a way that we already have, um, created, you know, a utility within the space, and so, um, just wanted to kind of put that out there, because I, I don't, I think there might have been a little bit of speculation up front, and then it kind of died off for a bit, but then people just, like, keep asking every once in a while questions about it, so I think it's worthwhile just, mentioning our intentions with that partnership um and you know if you see future partnerships with other launch pads or other projects or anything along those lines um very similar terms you know as to what we're doing there if it comes down to a token based uh mint partnership so just worth worth putting out for uh for anyone that is interested or has been kind of following that partnership uh, and with that, uh, the way that we usually kind of try to set those up, as an example for Critter Cults, uh, we, we do ask for like a, a, a better allocation, if you will, or a higher allocation um, for those whitelist tokens for Foxes. So that's really what we're doing is we're offering to give them back. Um, and at the same time, you know, we just kind of ask in response to give additional uh, tokens to us, which we then distribute one way or another to Fox holders. Uh, it could be via raffle, it could be, you know, first come first serve, could be, you know, any way that we can think about to be creative with it, and maybe have um, a, a better chance of getting them if, you know, you're a tier one Fox or something along those lines. We haven't quite fleshed all the ideas out for it, but, um, but that's really what that comes down to from a partnership side is, you know, w it does end up benefiting us as Foxes. Um, as well, so just want to kind of put that out. If anyone was interested or had any questions, um, you know, feel free to to fire away. But um, nothing nothing too particularly crazy when it comes down to that uh, that partnership. Uh, then the the last one that we've posted out so far uh, is around our carving contest, uh, to which. There have been some amazing submissions, and I have to uh, find some time this week, uh, maybe tomorrow, to, to start carving a, a pumpkin for it, because I, I want to include myself in the contest, uh, if for nothing else, to definitely get some, some fame tokens from it. But um, but there is some fierce competition in there. I, I don't know the people, some people that have submitted, if like it's... And it's like an art of carving a pumpkin, and I know it's not easy. I've done it in the past, um, but some people are like super, super talented. Even, even some people that said like it's their first time doing it, or you know, looking up a couple things on YouTube, super impressive. Uh, so definitely a lot of competition out there. So worthwhile to uh, to check out. There's a a carving contest um, channel, so feel free to kind of check that out. Uh, 
we are closing submissions the 28th. So you still have five days from now. 28th is Friday. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to close it from submissions. Um, so anyone can submit. You don't have to be a Fox uh, or you have a specific role or anything like that to submit. But when we close it, the, the voting will kind of clear out all the uh, extra stuff that's in there. And then the voting will only be done for uh, Foxy Pixels and Foxy Dow members. So, hello. Um, so yeah, so, so that's how that's going to go down, just to let everyone know. And uh, pretty decent prizes for, for the top three. I think it's uh, 10, 5, and 2.5 and soul. And then uh, everyone that, that enters it as well will get uh, fame tokens. So, super, super uh, keen on seeing how that kind of plays out, which has been, been pretty dope. Um, yeah, outside of that, I mean, uh, so, some of the announcements, you know, that, that you'll see in the not-so-distant future, we've uh, been going through vetting Tier 2 traits, uh, so our hope is definitely within, like, the next month, um, probably a little bit sooner than that, we'll have Tier 2 out, which will be super exciting. We're just kind of going through checking, uh, you know, uh, layers and, and, and how they're, any clipping that's happening, um, doing some modifications to those, and, um, you know, basically just making sure that it, it's clean at the end of the day, and so they're, they're kind of good to go, so keep an, an eye out for that, um, a few little, like, quality of life updates, we've been doing, uh, hopefully folks have kind of seen, like, the way we're promoting Marmalade, so we've kind of set up, um, tweets to go out, like, every hour for, like, a new artist that's on there, just to kind of catch up with our log, uh, I should double check. I think we're over 100 artists now, which is pretty awesome to see uh, in just a couple of weeks' time. But, um, but just, yeah, I just want to give a, a quick shout out for our Marmalade platform for anyone that hasn't uh, gone in and checked it out. You know, if you're interested in any kind of um, commission work or anything like that that somebody is able to do. Um, you know, check out the, the artists that are on there, and yeah, we've got, uh, 100, 100 on the dot right now, yeah, 100 on the dot right now, um, with a few more in, uh, a few more in the queue for us pushing them out, but, um, but yeah, so you'll, you'll see kind of little promo tweets that go out for each individual, um, person that's, that's on Marmalade, and, uh, if you're interested, it does have a link that goes directly to their Marmalade profile, Right now, it's it's wallet based, so that's why it's just got like the wallet string associated to it. For those that are kind of wondering, um, and so yeah, you'll be able to go on there and find uh, you know your marmalade artist that you're interested in. There's filters in there. You can kind of just scroll through whatever kind of preference that you have. You can also search for the kind of work that you're looking for. Um, there are I think close to 40 different art styles in there, so. Highly recommend just jumping in and checking it out. You know, even if you're not interested right now, maybe down in the future, um, you know, something will kind of spike your interest, and um, you know, go in and maybe maybe hire somebody, which is pretty fun. Um, or if on Twitter, if you see people that are asking, I know uh, Donnie was asking in chat the other day for someone that can do a, a Jester Fox, so I pushed him over to Rage because she does a great job. Um, and he did get a commission piece from her, which is pretty fun. So if you just hear of anyone that's interested out there, feel free to fire that along, um, which is pretty fun to see. Uh, let's see, let's see. There was something else I had on my list. Uh, give me one quick second here. Oh, actually, I did mention that. Okay. Yeah, the uh, one thing I wanted to rehash on, I know we talked about it last week and some people in chat, and I've even gotten some DMs about it, uh, but for Fame Transfer, which we call Suck, <laughs> um, you can only do that down to the closest, like, 10th level. So just to, to kind of throw that out there again, as an example, if you're, say, level 25, uh, and you want to use fame transfer from that fox to another, you can only bring that down to level 20. Um, so it's just a way of us being able to, 
I would say, like, make sure that, like, progress exists, but then also when people go to, like, list foxes that they aren't able to drain it down completely to zero, and if there's, like, a time delay between when the fox gets listed and when someone purchases it and they see it still showing uh, a higher fame level than what it actually has, um, you know, it could just create bigger issues than what it's worth to, to not to try to resolve, so, um... So yeah, so for anyone that's been been using that, uh, you'll see it, it. It's kind of a nerf to it, but at the end of the day, I think it does help um, in general keep progress moving forward. And as you get to higher levels, you get higher amounts of fame anyway. So um, you know the amount of fame that you can probably transfer from say like level thirty nine to thirty uh, is probably more than it takes from thirty to one. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but it's probably about that same. So. It's it's really not a crazy nerf. It just looks like it based off of the way um, we kind of structure it. So that was that. And let's see, let's see. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think those are the main items that were were worth chatting about in our list right now. Um, there have been a couple things too that have been popping up in like support, uh, na namely not like like super issues that people like should be worried about. I think like the one more recent was just that our website like chess history wasn't showing uh, the actual chess history that had happened for somebody. So like they had claimed to chess Scott Foxy, but it didn't show up in that history. As long as it shows on chain, you know we won't we won't send chests back to people. Um, if it doesn't show up on chain though, definitely let us know and we'll be more than happy to send out replacement chests for as we've done in the past. Um, but just wanted to throw that out there that there can be instances where like our website might miss, um, you know, an actual transaction for someone opening up chests. So if that's the case, just check it on chain. Um, and as long as there's no issues on chain, then you should be, you should be in good shape. All right, I think those were the main items. Let me see in here. Someone did ping me. Uh, any plans to open marmalade for all genres like Fiverr? Um, that's a good question, Bruda. I'm not sure I know what you mean by all genres. Not sure if you could expand on that. I know. I mean, I know for what it's worth right now. There's. I mean, it's definitely heavier on the digital art side there are a few people that offer canvas paintings i'm not sure if it's I'm not sure how many actually i know it's at least one but let me see if you expand on that somebody was also asking for for what it's worth um since we're here someone was also asking about mp4 support for creating like videos and such as commissions um we just recommended that they use GIF, so we don't have MP4 support built in yet. Some things, just to kind of go over, you would need like kind of a, a play button slash like a um, like player, if you will, that's built in. Um, because if not, it would just be kind of on like an, an auto loop function and it wouldn't be like as clean for us to implement. So it's something that we're talking about but haven't done yet um, for MP4s. Basically for everything, not art. Oh. Oh, 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 I got you, I got you. So like kind of like a, like a job board type thing. Um, yeah, I don't, that's a good, that's a good question. I'm not sure, I, I know there are, so it's not that we don't want to take away from other projects, but I think too there's... We just have to think about what the infra would look like for something like that. I don't think it would fall under Marmalade. I think if we do something like that, it would be its own section. Uh, I think Marmalade, we really are envisioning it for being like more of a commission marketplace for art. We want it to kind of be like that spot where like you would go to if you need something done from an art perspective, uh, Twitter banners, maybe even collection art. I know some people in there had mentioned that they would do full collections. 
Um, so that's kind of what we're envisioning for Marmalade. I think if we do something else where it's like other kinds of services, um, we would just have to think about what we want that to look like. If that makes sense. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. We have a question. Mm-hmm. That's a great question. And the question is that they've seen um, in Marmalade artists put uh, like their different pricing in the description. I, I know that when we ask for uh, people to set up their profile or for, when we ask for information for their profile, I'll say, because we don't let them modify it yet. We're working on that. Um, if there's a way to have, I guess, a, a menu as, as far as like what people can select, right? Like if they want to do a illustration have it be a minimum of x amount of of usdc if they want it to be um, you know a canvas painting have that be a different value for a minimum amount of usdc um that's a good question i i'll i'll, I'll ask i'll see i don't think that's terribly complicated from a requesting standpoint but it's definitely an a, a decent upgrade to the ui for it but I could I could see a need for it. Um, so yeah, let me let me jot that down and see if yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's great feedback. And, and I guess from my side, um, would it be helpful? So so I know a lot of artists that are on Marmalade have put in kind of like whatever their style was that they like initially had thought about. But over time, people get better with their skills. They might kind of want to expand a little bit or if they see more interest in a different area um, that they don't currently offer as a service. Do you think it'd be helpful as like a marmalade artist for you to be able to add in like additional options? Say you only like signed up with illustrations as an example, but you also want to do, um, I don't know, like a, a collections or something like that, that you can just select it from a menu and be able to like kind of offer that as a service. And then that way you can kind of like almost select and deselect what you have available. Um, or what you, I guess you have the bandwidth for, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I, we, we are too. We're definitely here for promoting artists. That's really what we've created that platform for and kind of have been um, advocating for it as well. Trying to tweet and retweet as much as we can out about Marmalade. Um, and, and you bring up a good point too, because... The one thing I forgot to mention is when we first started uh, Marmalade Up, we didn't have a bot that would, would show what the commissions were that were being created for people that kind of to draw some more attention into it. We then added a bot that, that showed like every commission that when they were finished, but then there were people that DM'd us that were like, hey, is there a way for me to like not show our commission? Because sometimes it's for a gift or... Maybe it's NSFW or whatever, but we just don't want it to go out via like uh, a blast message. Uh, and so now there should be the option for you to, to send it, it out as a tweet if you want to. I think it's default enabled as checked. So if you don't want it to go out, you have to uncheck it. Um, but that was something that we were doing from like updates that, that I, I think, um, I don't know if we've mentioned it that much yet. Uh, but worth mentioning in space. Yeah, exactly. And that that's kind of what we were thinking about. Like, because for the most part, right, like we'd rather have all the commissions get shown. But, um, as long as they're, <laughs> as long as they're reasonable and like the, the, the channel in which it posts it out from doesn't get shut down, but um, but yeah, I think I think that makes the most sense.
Of course. Yeah. Thanks for the question. I appreciate that. And I'm always, I'm always interested in getting like more feedback from artists from Marmalade. Um, cause not, I mean, there, there are a few people that will chat with us about it, but not very many people, um, come back, you know, to kind of mention improvements or anything I think that could make the whole process better. Um, so definitely keen to hear back from people on Marmalade. Yeah, that's true. Um, Tina's right. I'm not 100% sure, but based off how quickly that cope raid filled up, uh, we might do a second one. I have to talk to Dev about it. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. Am I getting pinged anywhere else? What's up? Uh-oh. Okay, I think they muted themselves. Uh, let's see here. All right, no chats and chat. Let me jump into portals. Let me check that out. Let's see if we got any messages up in there. Oh, that's cool. And they added in a... Uh, Joined section. Um, okay, cool. And the chat in there is not productive at all. Dope. Uh, when 3D Foxes? Uh, yeah, great, great question, Takayaki. Uh, still, still in development. Um, the good thing is that uh, for those that don't really follow portals too much, portals did recently add in a GLB integration so that's where if you join into portals which i know we've got uh, 12 people 11 including 11 plus myself um you'll see it is decorated out for halloween uh brink brink spent a good bit of time decorating this out um but that comes with the uh the ability for you to import glb files so um you can do glb files for the import i believe there's a glb file a way to import for avatars, which I think is gated right now to specific people. So uh, it's a long way of me saying that very, very soon, um, but still unsure as for like an actual final date on it. We're still, uh, we're still working with the fun guys on getting like basically small things ironed out um, that just can take some time because every time we do a a tweak or something has to kind of change for it. It has to be done for the full collection. Um, and so we're doing it on like small individual models, but then as it kind of, uh, you, you grow it out and generate the whole collection, there could be differences on, you know, different traits or clipping or anything along those lines. So, um, it just does take a little bit of, uh, detail, attention to detail and time to get, but, um, but yeah, 3d foxes, soon i would say tier two will most likely be out before 3d foxes if that at all helps and then 4d and 5d foxes if you have an idea of what that even looks like or means uh good luck <laughs> all right that's enough trolling me there let's see anything else going on right now mm. People are being weird in this portal. It's hilarious, yeah. They sure are solid. Uh, can't 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 help people. People are gonna be people. FF portal is spooky. Yeah, just make sure make sure you guys give some bring some love on uh, on updating this portals. But yeah, I mean, I think those are those are the most for the most part uh, most of the items that we had going out this week. Um, I'm trying to think of other quality of life updates we might have going out for people that might be a, a benefit worth mentioning. I know the one thing that, that we've been working on um, a bit is on Boombox getting the activity and volume um, created for it. I, I know it's like a, a bigger piece, you know, for a lot of marketplace that people jump in because a lot of people like stats, but, um, but it's just worth mentioning that's been a piece that we've been just getting the data for and making sure, um, you know, we're able to get that implemented. <laughs> mm 
I'm not sure who that is. I think it's in portals too. Someone's got some uh, background noise going. Uh, let's see, a question here, does Fox need to be tier 1 prior to starting the mission for the fame boost, or can you upgrade it mid-mission and get the boost? Uh, it has to be tier 1 before you start the mission in order to get the fame boost. But yeah, I mean, I, th I think, uh, are there any other questions? I'll kind of open it up for questions. <laughs> Just people throwing out some music here. Yeah, backward cap should be allowed, Giga Dad. Yeah, backward caps work. Um, yeah, just check your levels for that fox. You just jump in and see if there's anything in fox chat. I don't think so. If not, uh, if anyone is interested that's in VC and not in uh, portals, we'll go ahead. We'll jump into our chest opening giveaway for those of you that are in here and interested in winning most likely Foxy, but we have given out Fame and a t-shirt already, so... Or, I'm sorry, not Fame, Soul. Soul and a t-shirt. So for those that are interested, jump in. 